So today I'll be showing you how I use Microsoft Paint to make my designs. That's not a joke, it is the program I use. So first up I've got this magazine well unit and it's going to fit this Nerf Madsen machine gun. And I'm trying to get that unit to fit the design. You can see this big fuzzy picture of a real Madsen. I've scaled that up to full size. So it's full size on my screen and I can draw over the top of it so that I have a nice line drawing of whatever I happen to be designing. It doesn't line up perfectly because I actually used a different picture of a Madsen to draw it up. I need to modify the magazine well a little bit first. I'll grab a few of these 8mm wide pieces, copy paste them in a couple different areas. And let's try it again. Yeah, I don't really need this part, that can go away. Bye bye. Okay, that's lined up how I'd like it. Except we need to get rid of a few lines, Control Z, delete that, and then paste it back in. Line it up again. There we go. Now we need to just change the original drawing and make it fit that magazine well unit. So I'll redraw some lines. Delete some lines. You get the idea. Paste more bits back in. Now I need to find the center of this piece because that'll show me where the actual dart center is. So I draw a 45 degree line from either side, mark that with a dot, control Z, control Z, draw that dot back again and put a line there. Nice and efficient. And I also need to find the center of the barrel because obviously I want the dart to go to the middle of the barrel. So I'll do the same thing here. Okay, change that slightly. So I've paste that back in place where I actually want it. And now it will be aligned to the dart. So I can delete all that red. Redraw anything I need to. You can see that ruler. I use that quite a lot for measuring things on screen. Say I want something to be 50 millimeters long, I'll paste it in, make a dot at the zero and the 50, and there we go, I've got a component that's 50 millimeters long. And like that photo of the Madsen, that ruler is also scaled to be full size on my screen. So this one I quite like, it's got all the different thicknesses, common ones that I like to use like 19mm and 12mm. So that ensures that certain components are made to standardise thicknesses of timbers that I have. There's another one, some nice angled lines. And we'll grab a bit of this one. And 
I'm going to work on the recess for that magazine latch a bit more. Now we'll copy this piece. Control Z that line and then paste that bit back in. It's just a bit quicker than trying to get rid of that excess line. So there's my magazine latch. I decided I want those tolerances a little bit closer. So I'll select that line and move it over just a little bit. There we go. Now that I think of it, I might just make that line extend all the way. That'll be a nice easy saw cut. Yeah, that can extend right the way down. Just copy paste more bits of line. Yeah, nice and simple. So that's the magazine latch done. I'll copy paste a few of these little pins so that we can start working on the trigger. Grab some more angles, make sure they roughly match this little test drawing I made. As you can see the basic trigger mechanism here. We'll grab a bit of this one. We'll use that to start the trigger. And you can go right there. Get rid of that line that we don't need anymore. And we'll join that back up. And better move this over a bit now. I'm going to make that second pin hole now. We'll grab our generic thicknesses again. Let's get this 12mm circle. That'll be good for what we need today. We'll get rid of some of that line. I don't need that bit anymore. Again, we'll grab a bit of that line and paste it over here. Get rid of the stuff we don't want. And continue that line. Better move that pin over. Let's make it in the center. So I'll grab this piece. I'll use that to mark the center. Just with the little dot. There we go, that's the center. And we'll move that over a bit. Cut and paste. Do like a bit of cut and paste. So I hope you enjoy that little insight into how I make my designs.